Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. Today I'm doing a project share using Wonder Bar Crafts Hello Halloween digital kit. You can print off um, the computer from her Etsy shop. Everything will be in the description box where you can go and get it. All you gotta do is click the link. And I did a step-by-step -step process of how I was doing the book. So you'll see that in the next couple of days as well. But I just want to share with you in case you don't want to listen to me ramble on about random stuff. I will try to hit everything in in um, this process. So this is how it looks front and back. This is a sheet from the Hello Halloween kit. I laminated it because I... Um, I like the laminate finish look. Excuse the glare. I sewed a button on and I put this little stretchy card. So this is how the back looks. It's glued down. So when I send it to the person, I want to tell her, you know, be gentle. I wanted to give it enough room to, if she wants to expand it, she can expand it. But I also, um, you know, I want to sit on there. So I sewed this button on using the same card that I used right here. And I was going to cover it up, but I decided to, I decided to keep it like that so this is just a little witch's hat now this is after Halloween um, we are well into November and I wanted to use this kit um, my computer issues and stuff like that I discuss in other videos and I probably just do a little what's going on with brandy video later but um, you can craft whatever holiday whenever you want no one tells you what to do and definitely no one tells me what to do with the supplies that I have. So it's um, a spooky Halloween. I wouldn't say it's too spooky, but it's Halloween theme. And the person that's receiving this likes Halloween. She loves it. Um, so I just want to get it out to her before her birthday comes. So it's a birthday present for her. Um, anyway, off on a tangent as usual. This is a page from the kit. Um, you know, I was thinking as I was doing this, I could have cut these down into little tags, but I just use them as solid sheets so she can write on them. I also use some random paper from other locations. This is from the color box scrap kit. I put this little tag in here. Um, I didn't want it to be too off, too um, bright colors. I wanted to stick with like the Halloween fall colors, but I thought this would be cool. And that way she'll know if she didn't watch the other videos, she'll know that this is a tag. <laughs> And so right here's a place that she can write. Now, see, this is the only issue um, with the cover. So I'm going to get better, but, you know, she don't have a lot. Well, she's a righty, so it won't matter. I think she's a righty. Yeah, I think she's a righty and her daughter's a lefty. I'm not sure, but she should be the right. Even if it's left-handed, she can just fold it over. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And this is from her, from Wonder Bar Crafts Fickle Fall Paper Kit. And I'll be doing that um, kit soon. Yes, I know we've already skipped over Thanksgiving, but I haven't. <laughs> Blank pages. I decided to not to. I decided not to put a lot of line paper in on top of it. That way she can write or doodle or draw or whatever. And then this is a coloring page that she can color on if she chose this too, or she can write on it. But I stamped this little um, candle head guy from um, Michaels. Another Hello Halloween sheet. And I just made these. This was a square or whatever. I cut it in half. And I stamped this out in gray. Smoky gray from Tim Holtz Distress. And this is a black heart. Not saying that she has a black heart. But I just wanted it to go with the theme. And it comes from this little Joanne's Heart Stack paper. So like if it was a whole bunch of writing or something. That would have been there. But I think that will be cute. She can trace it. And she'll have a stencil. This is a picture of cats that I just... Um, stencil on a, a die cut or yes a die cut and then this i like these images like the vintage halloween because you know this lady probably was up to no good back in the day and look she's like looking over you <laughs> watching i'm watching got my eye on you and this is just a piece of scrap it's a, from a um a bundle and i thought it would go good you know like when you think about spookiness you think like buildings being kind of in poor shape or whatever spooky houses and this is a stamp from um hampton art stamp and it doesn't say the name on here i don't think but you can tell that it's a halloween house right a spooky house haunted house um and the pumpkins i think all of it kind of just goes well together 
um and then so right here i made a little pocket in these faces because if you notice a lot of the faces are kind of funny looking and these faces are funny looking i just put this little cat in here i didn't do the back of his head but i wanted her to know it's a little pocket so she could put something in here she wants whenever i think of pockets i always like to think of receipts or album tickets stubs from different places never really like something bulky because i didn't make it with a gusset and over here, I was just experimenting. Um, got a little tag flap thing. So she could put something under there if she wanted to. I'm not sure she would want to, but, you know, it would stay a little bit, I guess. It's more just for decoration. And this is from another, I think it's called Creative Scrapbooking. So she a stack of paper. I'm not sure where I got that from. And this is the cover page. I really like this image. I think it has to do with the colors and how you know she just set it up and has some little writing on the back so i really really like that um and this is another scrap bag scrap pack paper thought it would go good with the colors and then i just put this in she can write a note on there if she wanted to and then here i stamped out um a sugar skull using the hickory smoke is it hickory smoke smoky hickory a hickory smoke i just call it gray i know they all all of the colors are the same they just have different names to them but it's gray or silver and this is another fall fickle fickle fall fall fickle very cool owls are creepy you know i don't really care for owls much but i think it fits well into this uh journal um but the page is beautiful itself it just has so many different layers um to create such a beautiful page and then this is another color book page and then I took some washi tape right here and just put the washi down on another. It's a black and orange polka dot. Here's another kitty cat. Um, the one thing I'm not too sure if she really likes cats or not. So that's going to be interesting. She really don't care for cats because cats are throughout this book. And this is a little sticker from the um, Happy Hunting set. And it's just a spider web. I thought that would be good to break it up. And then these are some of the page to tags. And you'll see those videos. You'll see this, how I made this, probably before you see this. I need to get it mailed out and she needs to receive it before I'll um, share the video. Um, but I made these little tags. These are fun to make. These are designs. And, you know, they don't, I thought that they would look great in this because it has the colors. It's kind of spooky, not really. And I see that some of the ink has transferred over there. So that is even better. It gives it kind of some patina. But here's another little pocket that I made. The same pocket. I just cut the triangle in half. And there we go. And on this pocket, what did I stamp? I stamped this in black or the uh, black soot. And you can tell the difference in how they look. Because this is gray. And then that's black. So I went to, I think it's clipartlibrary.com. So it's clip slash art. I don't know. If you're interested, just leave a comment and I'll... Um, annotated but I left the location of where they actually got it from in case um, you know you're interested but it says that it's free for personal use not commercial I'm not selling this I'm giving it away so it's, it's personal use I made it for someone as a gift um, so this is um, some paper I tried to dye this paper it didn't go well so it's just like crinkly um, some more of that um, scrap pack paper and here's another image that came from clip art thought this would go good and molly harrison at molly molly harrison art.com actually created this i'm not sure she drew it i don't know how she came about it but i just thought this would be a cute little image to go in the book more lined paper for her to write some notes and now we're at the center of the signature this is another page from the hello halloween and i like this page a lot i think um because it's purple it has all these cool little spider web stuff on here and it has these cats which you know are probably up to no good and i put this little sticker on here says the witch express which whenever you see these kind of pointed hats you think of witches and then in the, on the piece right here even though she can't really do anything with this i thought it would be cute to just throw these cats in here so and i put two because it's two right there Hopefully, hopefully you can you can all follow my train of thought and then this is just a little uh i wouldn't say it's a tuck spot but it's a spot she can put stuff in if she wanted to another crinkly paper 
some more of the hunted house stamp the cat is on the other side and here we are with this i do like the wood blocks for quick stamping i don't mind putting them on um my acrylic block but i just haven't taken these stamps off yet um i haven't even started back doing it i made a quick little um what is this paper clip it was already a paper clip right <laughs> but i just added some trim to it and right here it was sliding down so i just put some art glitter glue on it and pulled it up so it could stay in place this is a little belly band and um you know she could put this paper clip wherever she wants she don't even have to use it in this journal but i thought it'd be cool for her to use you know cool it's a little dangly thing it can hang out um i've seen people with journals they have all kinds of stuff just all over um blank paper blank paper and this is another little scrap pack paper and it is greenish light green and had this little um glitter embossed gold design going on i thought that was cool two more though so what i did is i cut the paper in half kind of and i just made tags i didn't poke holes in it in case she wants to you know gift them to someone or do something else with it she can up up it a little bit more again some of this um ink is transferring over which is not a problem because it just gives the gives the journal a little bit more of something you probably can't tell but you can see it in person and i put another little kitty cat on here just some random washi placement um this strip actually comes from my world no kc's um design team kit and then here we go some more coloring pages another little random spot and this is just beautiful this is the fall fickle paper fickle fall fall fickle either fall fickle or fickle fall you know we skipped after halloween or right before halloween we skipped fall right we went straight into winter <laughs> Even though the autumn months are supposed to be a little bit cooler anyway, which I love. Um, another stamped image of the kitty cat. Some of the stamped images are not perfect, which is great because it is supposed to be kind of like a little spooky. Um, this right here is Inka Dinka Doo. I was going to get rid of this stamp because I was like, I don't like it. If you've ever purchased stamps like this, you'll know that what you see is what's going to stamp out on the back, which is fine. For these projects so you can stamp them out in any color you want you can make this into a perfume bottle i just think it's kind of like witchy spooky looking so i think it goes well with that and here is more of this paper i like this one a lot if you cannot tell now i did print out more pages to put in here but um my I, since i use this as a cover and i'm not that smart to cut the pages down ahead of time i took i didn't put them all in um, I don't know how many pages the signature is. And then here we are, another Hello Halloween. This is just some random scrapbook paper. And here's some more paper. So I used my scraps. I'm trying to use the scraps in random spots. Again, another strip of washi tape. If you do make a journal, make sure your pages inside the journal cover are smaller. So you and treat, do your treat, cut your pages first and then do your treatments. Because I did all my treatments and I had to go down and trim up some of the pages. And this is, I use this little image on the other side, as I showed you with the embossing. I mean, uh, I'm stenciling kind of, and I run this through my little Zyron. Um, and it's still a little sticky. I erased the sticky off, I thought, but it's still a little bit sticky. And it's probably on this side. So let's see if my gunk removal will work. All right. Yep. Works pretty good. <laughs> so this is the other page um with a little pumpkin head kids. So cute and creepy at the same time. You see this cat is scared. So that's really cool. It does the Halloween thing. Um more just decorative, something she can color on if she wanted to. This ink kind of bled through. Um this is another. This is the brown color what is the brown color in case you're really interested the brown espresso and then we have another blank page another page of the fall fickle 
this comes from that clip art um clipart.com i told you about and if you don't know who this guy is he is from plants versus zombies really cool and then this is that um a graveyard uh, a, a graveyard a tombstone that i just stamped in the gray blank paper and then the last page is this fall a uh, hello halloween page and then right here i just put this over to cover up the closure it is a little bit loose because as I said, the papers kind of hang out some, which I um, think it looks great, honestly. This, I'm very proud of it. As I do more and more, I get more and more um, proud of my accomplishments. Not the work that I've done, but just being able to overcome my fear of doing something. Um, please click the links. Go to um, Wonder Boy Crafts Etsy shop if you um like cute stuff um she has some stuff over there she also has some avocado stained paper you can check that out as well i want to say thank you all for watching um until next time happy crafting